This might just be our very last burnout in Shorty. What's up guys, so in the last video I asked y'all to leave me some feedback and let me know what y'all thought we should do with Shorty, and y'all definitely did that. And judging by the comments, it seems like a majority of y'all are on the same page, so today we're getting this thing ready. Not the three back-to-back -back startups. Y'all comment down below and let me know which truck you think sounded best. But step one in today's video is go figure a wheel and tire swap because y'all know these are my father-in-law's stock trail boss wheels and tires and there could be a time in the future when he needs to use those on his truck. And so I don't wanna like out from under him, sell them. Sad to see Shorty go, happy to see these go. Unless I find out after the fact that these are some kind of rare factory wheels because I've never seen them before. Uh, honestly, I hope I never see him again. All right, so there's the wheel and tire swap. <laughs> Shorty, I am so sorry. I do apologize. They look pretty freaking rough on there, but I do love, obviously, how all the chrome accents go with chrome wheels, and they just lighten up the paint of your truck. Even on the red over there, it looks so much darker now on the black wheels. They might actually look almost as good as the Trail Boss wheels did on there. They just look really out of place. This truck is not meant for black wheels. The VMAX, I guess, could go for either, but like I said, it does kind of take away the brightness of the red having black wheels on there but it's a pretty sweet look but honestly i think the michelins were a little bit taller than these so no fitment issues whatsoever totally stock suspension i feel like a lot of people are really going to like this setup right here it is not the style that i'm going for remotely with this truck but it will do for now next thing this thing needs a bath we're gonna vacuum it out and stuff tomorrow at the car wash place because <clears throat> they have really good vacuums we're gonna go ahead and take the diablo sport out of here and put it on right there there she is all synced up with the v max looking nice and clean and it's actually crazy if you didn't know the gmt 900 came with several different completely different dashes so this being the ltz you have this dash and then you have this dash completely different and it's bizarre jumping back and forth between the two because they have a completely different feel. To me, this seems like it sits so much lower and I'm like kind of up high, able to view everything. I'm not sitting down sunk in the seat. This one does come up much higher, not nearly as rounded right here. So I'm sure that's why it gives that feel as well as the seat position, but it's pretty bizarre. I don't think there's anything else that's going from shorty to here. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and stick this thing back in the garage before it gets rained on because it's all nice and cleaned and waxed and I don't even want to get it out of the garage. It's, it's that clean. I'm gonna go ahead, swap our third brake light back to the factory one, get all this crap cleaned out, and then I guess we will tackle the inside. New baseball hat and jersey. Lauren's return items. Bunch of trash. Some shoes that I bought Lauren um, six months ago when they weren't the right size, and I need to put those on Marketplace as well. Y'all don't care about watching me get trash out of the truck. I think this is one thing that we have to do. <laughs> if you remember when we bought this truck, it had this pretty ridiculous John Deere steering wheel cover on it. And so dead gun it. It's going back on. They're gonna think this is a certified pawpaw farm rig. Ain't never done a burnout in its life. Never touched a quarter mile. Just your 
long tube header bolts on truck used to hay hay bales used to hay used to haul hay bales around oh yeah now we're talking I, I, I certify right there brother so for anyone that buys and sells trucks wheels lawnmowers i don't care what it is you're a person that actually knows what they're doing you know one of the biggest things to do when selling something is one clean it and two take good pictures of it those two things go a long way that guy immediately is attractive to click on ad that has good photos and the vehicle or whatever it is is actually clean because that gives you confidence that hey whoever is owning this might actually give a crap about what they have and so it's probably been decently maintained at least that's my thought process but i see every single day horrendously dirty vehicles and it, it blows my mind dude spend an hour just a hour and you're going to get hundreds, if not thousands of more dollars for whatever you are selling. So rant out of the way. Blows my mind. People actually have nice things. They just don't don't know how to sell stuff or they just don't care. I don't know what it is. Either way, we ain't doing that. We know you got to spit shine it. Make it look as attractive and uh, nice as possible for potential buyers. I'm going to spend literally three minutes... <laughs> Wipe this thing down, and it's going to make a world of a difference. Like I said, three minutes. I promise. No more than that. Literally three minutes later, just wipe it down with some detail stuff. Looks so much better. Be nice and crispy for some pictures. And now we are going to tackle the outside. Y'all see the signs. Does that mean you're supposed to pay for the wash, and in return, you get free vacuums? I don't know. And if you don't ask, you never will know. But I do know if you pull in the exit and roll up to the daggum vacuums, you can vacuum your truck out. I'm just kidding. I have asked before and they said, just go in the exit, bring it on in. They didn't give a rip. So that's literally exactly what we do. And they have the best vacuums here, except for this one that is missing. So uh, we're gonna back back over there. All right guys, well, Shorty is officially online for sale. We'll scroll through the marketplace ad real quick, just so y'all can see how I like to list stuff. So you don't have to have a million pictures, just have basically a picture for everything. So one side, on the side, one on the front, one on the other side, one on the back. Maybe throw one up from underneath. Of course, the engine bay, the interior. Look at that turkey. That was the worst turkey impression ever. Um, but yeah, don't have to go too crazy. You don't have to point out every single flaw that the truck's got, every little scratch. Just throw it up saying, hey, you know, an honest description. It's got some dings. It's got some dents, some scuffs. You know, it's a 2011, just like I said. And, you know, it is what it is. Shorty is a super solid truck. And I know with maybe a little bit... Um, different wheel and tire setup <laughs> could make somebody a really really good truck and so i am definitely sad to be listing this thing because i have thoroughly enjoyed it it's been one of the most fun trucks i've ever had just go out do burnouts rip donuts it didn't care it loved doing it and it's never complained it's never hiccuped it's it's literally never given me any grief whatsoever and i am kind of sad i'm not kind of i am definitely sad this has been an awesome truck and I know, I know, better things lie ahead, but still, Shorty has been a good one, and it's definitely not an easy truck to replace, you know? A brand new truck, simple to replace, as long as you got good credit. Uh, a generic, let's say, I don't know, a crew cab version of this, definitely a lot easier to find. Um, a truck this old with 150,000 miles, getting more rare every single day, they don't make these anymore, yet people crash them every single day. So the number is always going down. The mileage is always going up. And so it's it's kind of hard to let go of these things personally, just because I know, like I said, they're not making them anymore. And they're always going down in amount. Anyways, I'm going to quit rambling. There it is. If you want to buy a shorty, I should be throwing this up right away. So it's on Marketplace. If you're serious, message me. There it is. Hopefully Shorty will sell. If not, uh, I give it a week of just beating my head on the desk because of the crazy messages and lowball offers, and I'll just freaking keep this truck. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new, 
and I'll see y'all boys possibly in the video where we're saying goodbye.